Mutable I Signs mean, Virgo uh, Season so Forecast. Totally Virgo Season. Woo woo. Virgo Season. I feel like Virgo Season is about to be lit. Leo Season was lit. I am a Leo Moon, so I'm a little bit more favorable in Leo Season. But Virgo Season going to be lit too because I'm Capricorn and our signs are just the shit. Okay, period. Um, moving right along, I'm going to do some um, Virgo Season readings. I'm going to do them by modality this time instead of element. I don't know why Spirit told me. Listen, we're not doing it by element. We're doing it by modality because this is going to affect the signs by modality more so than by element group, okay? So we're going to start first with mutable signs because Virgo is a mutable sign. So if you're a Sagitt Sagittarius, Gemini, Pisces, or a Virgo, that means you. So what is Virgo season bringing for you guys? What is it giving, honey? What is Virgo season giving for the mutables? What is it giving? Mutable signs have the power of change. They represent the end, mastery, transformation, okay? So hopefully, that's what you will be tapping into, seeing as how this season is ruled by a mutable sign. And it seems like you will. seems like there's going to be a lot of new emotional beginnings. Your mind, body, and spirit will be on one accord for you to better be able to take action and not just be over analytical and stuck in your head. Also, not causing issues and creating conflict over different points of views and things that you decide to take personally. I feel like you're taking a rest from that this season and you're focused on building your knowledge, focused on building your energy, focused on building your material, building your wealth and building your confidence, baby. And that's exactly where we need to be. That's going to bring a lot of open roads. You are going to have some isolation this season, but it's going to be for the greater good because it's going to allow you to let go of some things people and places that you have been needing to let go of in order to create space for new things to fall through i think you're going to be a little bit more disciplined during this season you're going to be able to get in front of, i mean you're going to be able to be the one driving the whip instead of the one getting your ass whipped and everybody is looking forward to that okay i think that's a a plus for you mutables you can look forward to pleasure confidence and abundance coming for you in virgo season i am gonna pull out a couple more oracles since i got a, a little bit more time um yeah definitely showing the world the real you letting your repressed desires uh come out and surrendering to to your own divine presence your own divine energy okay you guys are are in the money it looks good it looks good for mutables okay i can't show y'all these cards because i don't have the time but that's that on that, okay? All right, so Virgo season reading for cardinal signs, which is Aries, Capricorn, Cancer. Um, Aries, Capricorn, Cancer, and Libra, okay? Let's get into it. Let's see what we got going on for Virgo season, cardinal signs, Aries, Capricorn, Cancer, and Libra. What is it giving? What is it giving? As a Jupiter and Virgo, I'm excited about Virgo season. I feel like I'm about to get some money. Business about to be booming. I feel creative. So I'm excited. I'm a Capricorn though, so let's see. Okay, cardinal signs. Uh, Virgo season is giving a lot of death, a lot of uh, shedding, a lot of sacrifice. You're going to have to let go of a lot of these things that you've kept bottled up in your mind, these relationships that are no longer serving you spirit is offering you a whole lot of new opportunity and you're so busy and so used to being the analyzer being the assessor being the one that has to kind of even things out and sustain and push through it and spirit is saying look i gave you a clean slate to start from i'm giving you the green light to build from scratch all you have to do is show up and show out with that opportunity and you're going to feel right at home you're going to feel stable again and confident again on the foundation that you have decided to build, okay? So it seems like this Virgo season it is going to be a month of abundance, I mean, a season of abundance and building for cardinal signs in general, not just me as a Capricorn. And there are some things that may seem far off, but the results are closer than you think. So if we get to the end of Virgo season and you're like, where's that abundance that Eleven was talking about? Where are these opportunities that Eleven was talking about? They're coming. They are coming. They might be a little far off, but now it's like, okay, I have the motivation to do the work because I have the clean slate to start from. And I don't have all that shit that was weighing me down, keeping me anchored anymore. Like, I can move freely. 
Now you gonna need to make a practical plan in terms of how you're gonna make these movements and you, you, need, to, you need to understand that some obstacles may come up, but you're gonna have to push through and work through those obstacles. You're good at doing that. Um, being a cardinal sign, again, you guys are, are sustainers, okay? You, you get, get through. And the portal is opening up for you, okay? The portal is opening up for you. So those results, those those opportunities, those um, messages and downloads from spirit that you've been looking for, that confirmation that you've been looking for, they're coming for you in Virgo season, Cardinal Signs. So this is all good energy. I love it. Let's go. All right. So lastly, we have our fixed sign. So fixed sign is going to be Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, and um, Leo. Okay. So let's see what Virgo season is giving for the fixed signs. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius. All right, fixed signs. So I feel like this season is bringing you water. Like you're gonna tap more into your fluidity you're definitely going to be um, a little bit more self-sacrificing than you normally are, but it's not going to be in a negative way. It's going to be in a way that kind of teaches you and helps you be able to build. You're going to have more compassion and let your guard down a little bit more this season, and that's really going to be working in your favor. Um, you may find that you're very protective over your friends, uh, yourself, the people that you love, because a lot of people are going through tough times right now. And a lot of people see you as that pillar of strength and as that pillar of protection. Um, and you're going to almost be going out of your way during Virgo season, which makes sense because Virgo is ruled by the sixth house very much public health and service. I'm sorry, physical health and public service. Um, very much, how can I serve? How can I be of service to you? How can I give you the flowers that you've been waiting for? Because I'm always requesting my flowers and I'm quick to move on or shut down when I'm not getting them, you know. So I think that's going to be a great space for fixed signs to be in. Um, I also feel like you're going to get more validation, recognition and, a, and appreciation for the strength, for the glory, for the confidence, for the light that you bring to people. And that's going to be very refreshing for you. It's going to be like a breath of fresh air. Um, seems like you're going to definitely... Uh, be finishing up some projects that you've been working on or um, if you've been looking to move or start something new I feel like the, that that new window is coming for you to jump through it's like you'll finally realize that the the work that you did was not in vain because you may be feeling like that towards the beginning of Virgo season but as it as it kind of comes to an end you'll notice that things are coming full circle and you're seeing what you need to see one blockage that I am getting here with the fixed signs is you need to make sure that you are okay being a teacher as well as a student and make sure that you're okay listening and hearing the message when you need to. Okay, so that is for my fixed signs. I hope this was helpful and y'all have a good rest of your day.